what is eyewitness uh, there was a very good example or an experiment that was done by loftus and loftus basically talked about uh, a scenario where a group of individuals witnessed a car accident and then they were asked to report the incident so what happens is the offense would be taken into consideration based on what the eyewitnesses have for the accused and this could be manipulated how let's say the eyewitnesses were shown a film where two cars smashed badly so after seeing that film when they are asked again about the same event or the offense that had happened their responses might vary similarly if i meet the eyewitnesses and say that the cars is smashed or the cars contacted there is a difference and that difference would bring a difference into the answers that have been revealed by the eyewitnesses so eyewitness memory is something that is very very susceptible to the external phenomena that occur around it and usually used in criminal proceedings trials court trials that are seen the next is false memory false memory means that the imagination of the events that did not take place become so powerful that you forget the actual incidents that took place so let's say in the actual incidents the two vehicles contacted but then you were shown a movie or an incident where the two vehicles smashed badly now when you were asked to depict or reveal what had happened there was a change in the aspect that was laid down and this change was because of the generation of the false memory seen because of the uh, film that was shown to you again there was the readings that were done so there was a kind of constant the thrust that was given onto your memory systems and that led to generation of false memories and imagination of the events that did not take place actually the next important thing is the repressed memories now what are repressed memories sometimes there are incidences which are very very traumatic very very emotionally hurting to you painful threatening so what you try to do is you try to keep them out from your memory and you try to forget those and that is what are called as repressed memory but in some cases what actually happens is a person loses a mental stable uh, situation where he comes in a stage of fuge now this is a stage where a person tries to attain a new identity a new name or a new address so when he ha he gathers a kind of two personalities one personality which does not know anything about the other personality that exists there are cases associated with forgetfulness amnesia lack uh, loss of memory that is seen with higher anxiety a similar good example that you might witness in your daily life is forgetting during your examination getting nervous during the exam and forgetting what to write into the examination is one of such examples